everyone and welcome to another session of looking at the word with Beck. And today we're going to look at a passage, um, John chapter 14, which is um, one of my favourite passages in the Bible, but um, a really pertinent one I believe for our day and age. Um, it shares about um, Jesus talking to his disciples, sharing with them about um, a home he has for them in heaven. Um, a great hope that he has in store for us and he also leaves us with a gift um, peace of mind and heart so I'm going to read from John chapter 14 and it's a bit of a um, long passage but um, I'm just, just going to read it together and I hope that really encourages you and then I'm going to share some thoughts on it um, so if you want to turn to bible.com John chapter 14 um, otherwise you can just follow on as I read it together. John chapter 14. So this is Jesus talking. Don't let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God and trust also in me. There is more than enough room in my father's house. If this were not so, would I have told you that I'm going to prepare a place for you? When everything is ready, I will come and get you so that you will always be with me where I'm going. And you know the way to where I'm going. No, we don't know, Lord, Thomas said. We have no idea where you are going. So how can we know the way? Jesus told him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. If you had really known me, you would know who my Father is. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said, Lord, show us the Father and we will be satisfied. Jesus replied, Have I been with you all this time, Philip, and yet you still don't know who I am? Anyone who has seen me has seen the Father. So why are you asking me to show him to you? Don't you believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words I speak are not my own, but my Father who lives in me does his work through me. Just believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me, or at least believe because of the work you have seen me do. I tell you the truth, anyone who believes in me will do the same works I have done, and even greater works, because I am going to be with the Father. You can ask for anything in my name and I will do it, so that the Son can bring glory to the Father. Yes, ask me for anything in my name and I will do it. If you love me, obey my commandments, and I will ask the Father and he will give you another advocate, who will never leave you. He is the Holy Spirit, who leads into all truth. The world cannot receive him because it isn't looking for him and doesn't recognize him. But you know him because he lives with you now and later will be in you. No, I will not abandon you as orphans. I will come to you. Soon the world will no longer see me, but you will see me. Since I live, you also will live. When I am raised to life again, you will know that I am in my Father, and you are in me, and I am in you. Those who accept my commandments and obey them are the ones who love me. And because they love me, my Father will love them, and I will love them and reveal myself to each of them. Judas, not Judas Iscariot, but the other disciple with that name, said to him, Lord, why are you going to reveal yourself only to us and not to the world at large? Jesus replied, All who love me will do what I say. My Father will love them, and we will come and make our home with each of them. Anyone who doesn't love me will not obey me. And remember, my words are not my own. What I am telling you is from the Father who sent me. I am telling you these things now while I am still with you. But when the Father sends the Advocate as my representative, that is the Holy Spirit, he will teach you everything and will remind you of everything I have told you. I am leaving you with a gift, peace of mind and heart. And the peace I give is a gift the world cannot give. So don't be troubled or afraid. Remember what I told you. I'm going away, but I will come back to you again. If you really loved me, you would be happy that I'm going to the Father, who is greater than I am. I've told you these things before they happen, so that when they do happen, you will believe. I don't have much more time to talk with you because the ruler of this world approaches. He has no power over me, 
but I will do what my Father requires of me, so that the world will know that I love the Father. Come, let's be going. That's John chapter 14. So um, that's a passage from, from John where Jesus is talking to his closest followers and he tells them that he, he is going back to where he came from, being with the Father, and he tells them that he knows them and has a place prepared for them in heaven. I don't know about you, but I'd like to know what would happen to me after I die. And I'd like to know that I'm going to heaven, um, not based on some wishful thinking or hoping, um, but on a clear, definitive answer. And for myself, um, for the many years that I've been searching, I cannot find anywhere else where I would get such a clear, definitive answer as that found in the Bible, and in particular in the words of Jesus himself. So the Lord Jesus, he knew where he had come from, and he knew what was going to happen to him, and he knew that his mission was coming to an end, and that after his mission, he was going back to be with his father. How was he able to say all these things? And how was he able to give such assurance to his followers that they would have a place in heaven? Because he is the one who holds the keys to life and death. He is the author of life, the Lord, the Lord God, creator God himself. Jesus' followers had such a great assurance and a great hope. They knew that Jesus had a place for them in heaven and they knew he would never go back on his promise to them. His great hope that their eternity was secure was the basis for what framed their whole lives. They held on very loosely to worldly and material things because ultimately their hope was in the kingdom of heaven. They were not afraid of death because they knew the one who had defeated death. And Jesus is the only person in the history of the world who has died and has defeated death by coming back, um, being resurrected from the dead. So would you like to have the same hope that these followers of Jesus had? The same hope is available to you. And I, I feel that this is such an urgent time for so many people around the world. That we need to consider Jesus as your personal Lord and Saviour. And to ask him to give you this eternal hope. And I'm, I'm urging you, I'm begging you, please do so before it's too late. If you die without Jesus as your saviour, I believe from the Bible that it will be making the biggest, biggest mistake. It will be just such a tragedy. But Jesus also gave them another gift. He gave his followers the gift of true peace of mind and heart. It is his peace. Isn't this gift of peace so much needed in our world today? In a world of so much uncertainty, pain, and mental distress, the peace Jesus gives is truly a supernatural one. Like the one who was able to sleep in the fishing boat in the middle of a life-threatening storm when the disciples thought they were going to die, his peace is one where in the middle of the storms and the chaos of life, he enables you to feel strangely and truly resilient and okay. It's something that can't be explained, but only experienced. Peace of knowing your sins are forgiven. Peace that you are okay with knowing you're okay with God. Peace of knowing your eternity is secure. And peace that God will never leave you or abandon you. Peace that while you don't know how exactly all these storms are going to be resolved, you do know the one who holds you in his hand and will never let you go. If you don't know Jesus and his, his peace, all I can say is to encourage you to try Jesus today. Maybe you've come to the end of yourself. Give it all to God and ask him to take over. And I would urge you to please invite Jesus into your heart to be your Lord and Savior. He will um, trust him and he will give you a place in heaven. And he will give you his peace for today as he walks with you through the storms of this life through this uncertain time and beyond.
thanks for watching